Oh, hi everybody. I'm Carl and welcome back to Knack 3D Designs. Well, how to get that sword put together and out of the way. And, uh, well, if y'all didn't know, this is the one I just designed. And everybody had a sneak peek of it, kind of, and just didn't realize it. It's also the same sword that's on the back of the Knight's War red shirt. So, anyway. In today's episode, we're going to go ahead and wire up the fans and the buck converter on our lower cover and get it ready for installation onto the printer. So let's get started. All right, so to assemble our lower cover, we're going to need, obviously, the lower cover. We're going to need two Noctua fans. We're going to need the screws from those. We're going to need a JST connector. And just for reference, I did pull out the 3 to 2 wire just so we can make sure we know which two wires are being used on the fan and according to this it's the red and black and we'll need a puck converter now before we go ahead and wire all these up we're going to go ahead and solder on our JST connector to our puck converter input side and we'll go ahead and wire up the other side onto the harness on the printer and we'll fire it up and we'll get this dialed into an output of 12 volts before we do anything else all right, so the first thing we want to do is go ahead and hook up the connector to our puck, connect, puck converter. As you can see, it's clearly labeled in and out. I'm going to go ahead and hook the red up to the in. And see if we can't solder that in place. how that soldered up so I can't get that a little bit better that joint looks much better now we're going to do the same thing to the in negative get our wire up through Load up my tip with some solder. Now we've got that soldered in place. Now we'll go ahead and bring the printer up. We'll solder our other connector on, powered up, and we'll fine tune our puck converter. Got our connector. Here's our yellow and orange wire, which goes to our fans. It needs to loop basically back under and down to the bottom cover. So with the length of the connector, we're gonna say about Right there, should be long enough.
And now that wire does have polarity. Yellow is the negative and orange is the positive. Now, we can go ahead and take our buck converter, hook it up, may find something to insulate this a little bit. They don't want to stay on. to hold the wire it doesn't move around so much all right there's a little tiny potentiometer right there let's go for it where I set my voltmeter down power cord for the printer. Nothing went poof. That's always a good sign. Now I'll put my voltmeter on 20 volts. And let's see what this thing's putting out at the moment. 10.63, we need to crank that up just a little bit. Now I should get a nice little fancy adjustment thing, but I don't have one. I broke the tip off on my knife here. Maybe it'll let me turn it. Look, wrong direction. Twelve point three two. That should work pretty good. I think those fans are rated up to fourteen volts. Go ahead and run it right there. Now we know the voltage output is good. We can go ahead and hook this up in our bottom cover and wire up our fans. All right. So next thing we need to do, we need to go ahead and install our fans. Use it. Now remember, you want them to blow against the bottom of the circuit boards. So we want to have them label up in this situation. Now the original holes in this bottom cover were made much smaller, but they were designed to work with several different kinds of fans, just in case you guys didn't want to spend the money for Noctua. Now I did just go ahead, I already drilled these out to five millimeters so that these screws would fit nice and neat.
Next thing we need to do, just to make sure we get plenty of clearance for the slide tray to go over top of these, we're going to go ahead and pull these little rubber bumpers off the top. They stick up just a little bit more. We don't need them there, so we're going to get rid of them just to make sure they're not going to hinder anything. Now we're going to go ahead and cut the ends off of this. We'll go ahead and slide off, hopefully. Maybe not. Get this to rip. Be very careful doing what I'm doing so that you don't end up cutting your finger. Wouldn't be the first time I've done it. Now we don't need the yellow wire, we determined this already. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut it off right back here. Now we need to go ahead and cut these to the same length. Strip all these wires down. And go ahead and work on these. Be positive through and our negative through. Hold them over to hold in place. And then we'll solder them in place. I'm just going to trim the excess off the back. There we go. And our wire 
while ago like that. And we'll go ahead and put this down in place with some heat shrink. Now I have a, only problem is, I decided I'm gonna run that other fan that's running our stepper. It's basically mounted right here. Small design change because I'm testing to see if I can cool that stepper a little bit. It seems to run awful hot. So I'm just gonna go get my Dremel and I'm gonna cut a notch right here to run another connector out the back side here. It's gonna run that fan and well, I got a surprise for Midnight Giant. I'm gonna put some LEDs on the bottom of this printer. So I'm also gonna run the LED light strips off of that connector as well. So I'm gonna get my Dremel, cut a notch in this and we'll be right back. All right, so I've cut my new notch. I'm just set it just a little bit past halfway. Figure I got plenty of room to connect my stepper fan on. What I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna go ahead and solder on these two connections here to the output of this puck converter. Now I think left to do is to get the hot glue gun and secure all our wiring nice and neat down to the bottom so that it doesn't get in the way of the slide tray. I've had my hot glue gun preheating. I'm just going to go ahead and move it over here closer. Okay, so I'm going to put a nice little coating down on the bottom because honestly, this is glitter fill. I know glitter is partially metal, so I don't want to risk shorting out the puck converter. Alright, so now we have everything nice and secured in place. Bottom cover is done, ready to be hooked up. Alright, so that wraps up today's episode. Now, if you'd like to help support the channel, future development of the White Knight, and any other future projects, there are several links in the description below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon.